Humans have a really long evolutionary history with dogs. We have them in our households. They recognize who we are. People are generally just curious about what dogs do and don't understand. And for our students, it's a really nice way to introduce them to lines of inquiry in animal behavior by using an animal that they're really familiar with, but often don't understand as well as we would like. This year is the first year that we are doing this research as part of our class, so it's course embedded research and the students are asking questions about how smart dogs are. We're analyzing the differences between herding breeds and toy breeds, as well as male and female dogs to see if there's any differences in that. And overall, it just kind of helps with a better understanding of how dogs' biology works, how domestication may have impacted their understanding of human cues. And then more broadly, that can be applied to just like domestication in general and how humans have impacted the biology of different animals. My group is looking at whether they were a rescue versus non-rescue and then comparing that to their personality type. I think there are a lot of different ways that this data can be useful. Uh, specifically, one of the things that my group was talking about was being able to use these results to rehome dogs. So there are a lot of dogs in rescues and being able to study their personality types could benefit the chances of them going to a home that they will stay in. What we're doing in this class pretty much is kind of learning to understand animals like through their lens and their behavior through their lens. I mean, the more we understand dogs as like a sentient being, I think the more that we can tailor training methods and how we interact and give information to dogs so much better to make both of but to make that relationship between the two of us so much better. Oliver. This was kind of the first actual collaboration where we utilized the facility in coordination with one of the researchers. Okay. Come on. UW Claire is such a huge part of our of our community and it's really exciting that some of this research is happening where you live. It's really just a win-win because everyone get something out of it. The people get to like participate in cool research. I think just like having the opportunity to hit the field and like know what research is about, know the methods behind it, and how to just construct a paper out of it and like uh, writing an abstract. So I think just like the core values of the, the research itself, is something I could take with me out of college. It really just takes it out of the classroom and gives you super valuable real world experiences that can help you market yourself and network a lot. So it's super awesome. They act as leaders. They, outside of the classroom, can bring what they've learned and take on a leadership role. That helps them to explain to others why what they're doing is important and how it can benefit the world more generally.